Trump says it like obviously the dude's a fucking idiot on some things, and I'm like majority of things. Yeah, but there's there's some things that he did good, and like the same with every every, pre- every pre- but that I don't think that's good. That's a good that's a good enough argument. To be like, okay, yeah, he did some, some things good. Every president has done good. Every president has, has done, done bad. bad. And the, and if you can't admit that, like, you're, you're a goddamn moron. Yeah, yeah, you, that's you, what you I'm saying. You immediately leave the conversation. So just saying, like, he's done some good things, to me, no, no, that's no, no. not a good enough argument. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not defending Trump. I'm not saying, like, hey, this is, like, he's fucking spectacular. I'm not saying, like, the people, the way that people are stacking up Trump is, like, he's fucking awful and everything. Like, no, the man has done some good things. But then if you, like, look at all every president... They've done some good and they've done some bad. Like no president is perfect. I don't know what. But, but do you remember the last president that was as outspoken as Trump has been? <sighs> JFK. Was Actually, the, no, 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 no. No. Was no. was there a Twitter back then? Was there was there a were, were there social media platforms back then? Oh no 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 no. Was there somebody back then tweeting at three a.m. all the fucking time? No no no. He puts this perception on himself, and that's the problem. That's, I'm, that's, not, I'm not. Look, I, I'd say take his Twitter away. He would have probably had a boost in his approval ratings. Probably, it probably would have probably won. Take his Twitter away, dude. He's looked at. You are so sketch about that spot. Hey, if you would have killed him already, like I Yo, fucking suggested. But. I, this is the first time I look back, and I just saw him. But anyways, but like that's that's the reason why a lot of people voted for Biden, not because of Biden's views, but because of it's not Trump. Yeah, that's, that's why that's, it's not, and that's that's not how it should be. Like a lot of people are thinking, like, "Hey, it's either blue or red." It's like, no, stop, stop thinking about who. That's the biggest problem with like the Congress and everything else. I think Congress should have term limits. I really hands up. Oh, a thousand. It's percent. never gonna I, happen I, 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 because I, guess I what? The Senate and the House are never ever gonna pass a bill on themselves for like. We no, get term- they're not. Of course we're, they're not. We're gonna get term limits. Congress has more power than the president does. A lot of people don't realize that. It's like. If the if the president vetoes a bill, it can go back to the yeah. the Congress and they're they can like approve it. it can get approved. Like anything the president does, Congress can literally almost be like, no, no, you don't you don't get. Th-. Can we all just agree that he did incite the violence on the Capitol? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I still see people saying, defending. Well, he said to go home. He did after. He said to go home after. He was like, I know, after, after he, was like he was like, he's like, I know, but he's like, we should storm the Capitol. Clearly, like. he cares because he said to go home. I have never, and you know, it might be the politically correct thing. Where's that napkin? I'm gonna kill the spider now. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. I can do it. I can do it, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I see his fucking guts on my wall. You see Don't wipe it in. It was one little leg. Relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, shit. Uh, I forgot my train of thought. Storming the Capitol. Storming the Capitol. He said to go home. So, okay, yeah. So, in almost every video, every clip, everything you see, all he says is, I, I, I. Now, I, I might, that might be the liberal thing to say. Because I consider myself independent, I don't give a fuck about either side. I picked the better candidate. Yeah, um, and I think more people are starting to become more independent. That's just my feeling. Um, all I see in these video clips is I, 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 and voter fraud, voter fraud. It's voter fraud when you lose, but when it's you win, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, the funny thing is because, like I'm saying, like when. Trump won and Hillary lost. That's what she said. She was like, it's rigged. Every person that loses... Will say it's rigged. It will, will not accept defeat that because they're like, hey, we the people. And then like some people like that on the losing side be like, our votes didn't get counted. Like we didn't we didn't get our voice heard. It's like, stop. To me, it's... it's Every, everyone's a person. Everyone... Like there is human error, but like that's why we have electronics and stuff like that because they take... They 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 checked the they checked the forms. They're like, all right, this is what happened. That I get why Trump was so like this is fraud because of like some of the swing states. Like I'm saying, like they had like a huge jump, but then they fixed them and stuff like that. And that's why he was like, eh. But, but what about the states that had a huge jump that were in his favor? He's that's what I'm saying about that. That's what I'm that's saying. My, that's what, yeah. There, there were that. There were there was a time where I'm like, oh, Biden's gonna win that state. Oh, some 200k votes later. 
Oh well, Trump won that state. Yeah. So he, but you don't hear him fucking complain no, no, about no, no, those no, no, states, no. and you don't hear, and you know, I don't like Biden. I don't like Biden at all. But again, I guess it's a more liberal thing to say. Like when you say "we," I fucking believe you. Yeah. I believe you. I don't. I don't want to fucking follow a guy who's constantly "I, I did this, I did that." Da 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 da. I want to be. I want to be like we fucking did this. A, a leader. Because we're all. We're all the reason you're fucking in power. I think a leader should be someone that doesn't take responsibility for. Like something that something that positively happens. A good leader doesn't say I. Yeah, a, a good I, leader. I I I I I a good all le- the fucking time. To me personally, I think a good leader is like someone that's like they did this. Like always point the people that did that. And the, we came together. Yeah, yeah. Or we came together, something like but when something bad happens, a leader is the one that steps up and be like, Hey, look, that was my bad direction. I, I didn't I n- I've never understood why a leader doesn't just be like you know, grab a stool. You know, you know, like how they always come in front of like that that uh, the White House. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but you know, like that signal you know, that's or that says the White House in the back. Mm-hmm. I don't know why no no president when they fucked up just so you know be like, all right, I'm gonna talk to you like you're actually people. Grab the fucking stool. Pro- like instead of standing and like sits stand- down and just goes, I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. Yeah, and like that's what I'm saying. Like that's the problem with like celebrities and politicians and stuff like that. They take the time to. I get it. You want to formulate a plan of like how to say you're sorry because you don't want to offend some people. But at the same time, it's like that's the best. You're never going to please everybody. No, no. But here, hear me out. This is the, like the, I think that's the best way to apologize or to like admit that you fucked up is to just not not like kind of wing it, but like have like an idea in your head. Just be like. Come come into the frame. Be fucking human and be like, yeah. Be obvious. Don't don't have someone else write your shit for you. Be like, look, things didn't go out the way I planned. I thought this was the best way of going about things. It wasn't. I failed. I, I fa- I'm sorry. I, I failed you guys. And as I a, will learn from this. Yeah, our country, our as people, like, there is some things that I could have approached better. Not not having people like kind of like. Like oh this is the like this is like the most neutral thing you could say like like no look I didn't want to take this role or I didn't want to do this because I personally didn't agree with it or I did take this because this is what I felt the position that could go in if something fucks up instead of blaming the uh, putting the blame on someone else like if so, like a big fuck up happens be like it wasn't me even though you're the one that's supposed to be like have the take the weight on your shoulders be like it wasn't me it was him throw it off to someone else. That's bullshit. As a leader, as someone that's in charge, that has to represent either higher ups or like your other peers that are in other groups or whatever you be at, you gotta you gotta own up to like these are the people that you're supposed to guide, the people that you're supposed to. And that's the person I'm gonna vote for. Like the mentor, supposed like it's hard. You can't please everyone. You can't find neutral ground in everything. It's it's hard. There's people on far left, far right. There's there's a lot of people in neutral and stuff like you can't. It's it's nearly impossible. Like the best you can do is try to be like, look at like a bunch of factors. You'd be like, I think the most common thing like everyone can agree on is like focus on the American people. A thousand percent. And but stop, like both, and, and I think focus on the American people and stop trying to turn every other place into America. You can't have the whole world stop. be America. No, you can't. Now, I think that's the biggest problem. Like I get it. You want foreign affairs. Like you want to. You want to approach other, but because a lot of times that things in the past have happened, it's because the U.S. wasn't involved. Yeah, and so they're, I guess, and I understand them trying to be ahead of the game. Uh, you, the, yeah, I get, I get why the U.S. wants to do, it, but at the same time, it's like you can't account for every, like you can't, you can't focus on another third world country when you can't focus on your own people. Like, dog, do they have fucking? Uh, do they have like you know Canada bases out here? Do they have? I don't know, like. African military bases out here. Do they have anything like that? No. The fuck the, they don't. The only thing that I think all the countries have over here is the em- embassies. Like, they can have different... They have embassies, but they don't have... Like, I'm not talking embassy. I'm talking, like, they, sh- they don't have military from other countries out in America. Yeah, Dude, not that I know of. Not no. a damn chance in hell would that ever happen. I don't know any Japanese or Germany. No. But, like, I know, like, we're, like, uh, like people, like, one of our good friends, Dylan, yeah. he's going to be stationed somewhere in, like, other countries. Like, why do we need to be? Like, I get it if they're stationed in an embassy. Right. Like, as protection. Like, that's cool, but. Most of the time it isn't, though. Like, they're just there. It's like, why? 
Why should we care about what other countries are doing? Like, I get it. You want to keep... Because we're nosy as fuck. That's why. Yeah. And, and, I, and again, staying ahead of the curb is smart, but you got to know your fucking limits. I finished my twisted teeth. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. But you got to know your limits. <laughs> like, you, you, like, you can't just expect everyone... Because that's why people, like... I'm not saying that's the ultimate reason, but why North Korea doesn't fucking like us. I mean, granted, they have a, I'm just giving you one of the thousands of fucking reasons they don't like us. <laughs> There's other countries that don't like us either, but that is also very true. Like Iran and shit, they don't fucking they don't they don't fuck with us because all we do is fucking metal. That's all we do. Like we want to be in their business. They're like, hey, what? How's your shit smell? But granted, I, do do I agree with the things they're doing? No, but they'll be their own downfall. I feel. You think the people won't eventually just say fuck it and that, like rebel? That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, uh, we did it here. Other people did it here. Did you? I, I looked this up because I was I was watching a movie about World War One, uh, 1917. So I got curious. I looked it up and I started looking about World War One. I. I knew a lot about World War Two, but there was something I did not know that kind of surprised me. Like something that happened is like one of the biggest things that propelled us from World War One to World War Two was foreign affairs. Because yeah. cause World War One, Woodrow Wilson failed because he got sick and stuff like that. Like he couldn't uh, partake in the the Warsaw Act and everything else. Like saying, "Hey, this is this is how we should help these countries." But FDR stepped in for World War Two and was like, "Hey, this is how we should do it." And ever since then, we have been such a big prominence in foreign affairs. After that moment, and I think that's why, like a lot of presidents from then on have always been like. Like like every debate and stuff like this, like how do you feel about the foreign approach of this country or this country and all that and stuff? It's like, like I would stop, take a minute back, and be like, look, whatever is going on with that country, that's their own problem. They have their own government, correct? Yes, yes, they do. I get it. We're buying goods from them, and we don't want innocent people to get hurt and stuff like that. Like I respect that. Like I, I'm not cool for anybody innocent to get hurt and like some dictator to take the throne either. Like I'm not cool with that either. But at the same time, as like. If you can't focus on the main factors of your own country first to help them, to help them prosper economically, living, food, water, the, the basic principles to live, to get a job, whether some people, I get it, some people are really lazy, they don't want to get a job, like that's, that's fine, like you need to figure out how to get a job, like this is, the, you're growing up now, you gotta adult the fuck up, you gotta buckle the fuck up. Yep. But I didn't make that into a shirt. Buckle the fuck up. Buckle the fuck up. And uh like that's that's what I'm saying. It's like you got to step up and you gotta the only way that like the the leader of the country and like the Congress stuff like that, the only way they can step up, don't get me wrong, like some of them have their own selfish agendas and that's bullshit. We the people have the voice. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you want more entertainment like this, down in the description is our podcast playlist where you can watch full-length episodes. All our links, including Spotify and iTunes, are also down below. Please like and subscribe.